Hey, how's it going, guys? It is Carter here, and today we are doing something a little different. Have you ever been watching your favorite YouTuber on FarmSim thinking, what the heck is this little menu, and how do I find it? How do I get it? How do I utilize it? Well, today we're going to show you. First, to get the mod, you're going to want to go to the in-game mod hub, hit spacebar, search DEV, you'll see easy development controls, and you want to install it. Just so you know, this is PC only. Once you have it installed, jump into your save game. Once your mod is installed and you have enabled it and you are in your save game, go and hit F12. It'll bring up your mod menu. This is the developer menu, so this is how you would change anything you want to change. Starting in the general tab, this is the big one for a lot of people. The add money, remove money, and set money. Add money is going to add whatever you want to add. So if we have 1,440,000, we can go to F12, we can add 10,000, and now we are at 1,450,000. So add just adds it, remove does the same, except obviously removes it. And set money, we'll set it to, if we just set it to 200,000 and hit enter, now we are at 200,000. So it sets the exact value. We go back to the F12, uh, extra time scales, you can turn that on. It'll give you more uh, time options. You can hit stop time and it completely zeroes time. Everything is essentially fro the world keeps moving, but the time is frozen. Moving into the middle column, flight mode, you can turn on. You can hit J to activate it and Q and E to go up and down and you can fly around. So this is a lot of, a lot of your favorite YouTubers get their drone shots, those buttery drone shots in the cutscenes. Uh, if you want to disable it, you can just hit J and he will drop. If we can turn that off. HUD visibility on, HUD input on. So if you have HUD input on, I have it set, I think it's default to scroll lock and you can turn your HUD on and off. So that's also how you do nice cinematic scenes in the game. Uh, delete objects input. I'm not sure what this does. I don't touch it. Uh, you can teleport your player. You can set your FOV, you can set your quality and you can clear and reload store items. Into the player tab, super strength, uh, pretty simple, kind of in the name. You can walk up to an item, you'll see a hand object pop up and you can you can pick stuff up and move it. Very good if uh, say your truck flips, you can just pick it up and it's a little wonky, but you, there you go. Jump multiplier, it will just you know, alter your jump height. So if we set it 10 times, we are, you know, we are jumping on the moon, basically. Third person view, you can change your view. This is how I got in the beginning. The front shot, wood cutting marker, A marker, running multiplier. This is if you want to go across the map very quick. You know, you can see I'm walking, hit shift, and we are screaming across the map. So. That paired with flying is a good uh, pair. Running multiplier key, if you have a key set to turn the running multiplier on and off, that is how you do it. And then this is more debug information. Here you can you can add uh, bales, add pallets, add logs. Um, this is all your fill type stuff. Uh, for the vehicles, we will hop into the truck. Here you can see uh, we can reload the vehicle, which will just, you can hear it, it will just reload it. So if you have, say, a gravity box, is a notorious problem with these. Uh, anything with these kind of front axles on them, if you turn too sharp, they're known to break. If you go back into here and hit reload, that'll usually fix it. Fill level, if we open the tarp, we hit fill level, we can choose whatever we want. Let's choose some soybeans, hit fill, and the hopper is now full. Condition, you can set it to whatever level you want. Same for fuel. And these are some more settings you can kind of mess around with. Placeables, I don't really touch it very much, but it's pretty self-explanatory. Fields and farmland, once again, fairly self-explanatory. Um, environment, you can change the month. You can change the weather, you can change pretty much everything you'd want to possibly change, you can change it. Just know, if you change the month from, say, spring to fall, 
the plant states are generally going to stay the same. So it's going to be still in the early stage if you just planted them and you're thinking you're going to jump ahead to harvesting season. Uh, it usually does not work like that. At least it never has for me. And then last but not least, you have your help page. And this is where you want to go if you have any further questions. It'll, it literally explains every single uh, options, including all the debugs and stuff. So definitely refer to this. But yeah, the big one, the money cheat. I've seen a lot of people ask about this. No, it is not on consoles. This is how you do it. This is the best way to add, remove, change, customize money. Please, for the love of God, get rid of government subsidy signs. End them. I hate that mod. It's a terrible mod. Just get the, the debug if you're on PC. Don't ever, don't ever even touch the government subsidy signs. This is all you ever need. Uh, but yeah, that's it for today, you guys. If you did enjoy or get anything out of this, hit the like button. Uh, if you have not yet, hit subscribe. Join the Discord. And uh, that's it for today, you guys. Peace out. Oh, my face is high Till someone is dealing Never had a face for a ceiling Moving something more